so I called them since I'd rented from them before and they remembered me and said no worries just apply or we'll get this through really quick so you don't have to spend any more nights in a hotel trying to look for an apartment you know if she had known the whole story she would have said sorry your cousins are jackasses <laughs> can't believe people would do that to their own kin on purpose ish am I going here oh, oh we're gonna traipse on up to the art museum area and see what the debacle is there Turn. Which side do you want? days like 80. I thought it was interesting that it was warm on Halloween and mischief night. I was like whoever creates the weather are they trying to say something? So and they use the weather for even sporting events special events and it'll be like 102 degrees on like you know a football Super Bowl game and I kind of wonder like what's going on with weather? like this but also it's expensive. Functional 45. F45. Oh like F4. <laughs> oh he's Will Smith people. Alright here we go. like a regular parking lot. There's some wood over here. Wow. Cooper. Can we still go down there? Cuthbert on that side and this side and then it switches up it kind of shifts it's almost like a Waverly Street and it shifts up one and it's named something else a stretch off on this block behind more like Trader Joe's ish and I forget what that section is called I used to walk these streets I walked dogs walked a dog named Murda like Murda she wrote but the reggae song Bernie's Mountain Dog um, that guy wound up dying his owner because he was, I don't know what happened. I think he won my money through a settlement, lived in the Murano. And I actually liked him. I felt sorry for him because he was in a wheelchair. Um, but he was pissed off probably because he didn't get to control everything in his life any longer. And uh, I think he put in a stripper pole, as I recall. It got weird in his condo. So I actually cried for him. He died February 22nd, 2014. So he got the twos, 222, 2, 2014. John Bates. In my book, Duplicity and Dress, Dark Factories in the Making, independent published. Um, I wrote a whole chapter on him, I guess. Did I do it specifically on him or? Right, because he would know the art of war versus the art of peace and Sun Tzu and stuff like that. There's a guy up here, usually across from Franklin, the Franklin Institute, I call him Sun Tzu because that's who he reminds me of. I wonder if he'll be up there today. So we'll head on up here. 
when I was homeless, someone let me stay in their house at 2060 Apple Tree Street, across from the pizza place. So that was a blast. That, that was really, I stayed there February 2018 to September 30th, 2018. But it was November, December of 2017 when if I were to have a handler, she would have taken me away from the dog walks and said, we got, we are out. We have to pull you out through the underground. So, right, I don't see these as a luxury, these senior living in the city. If you have to wind up here, it probably sucks. So, anyway, I used, I delivered DoorDash there. <laughs> anyway. Atria. College of Art? I know what you mean. So in Washington DC they're setting up today activating the National Guard and the whole thing in preparation for any potential uncivil rest or unrest, civil unrest, whatever you call it. Um, here's more. Primary colors. Oh it's like a green and yellow. Oh it's like a bluish and yellow that come to green. Okay. You know, if you were to have gang colors, <laughs> I wouldn't choose the green and yellow. So just leave it at that. So, uh, very Irishy, I guess. Well, I don't see Sun Tzu today. He was down in Rittenhouse the other day, so it's around, I guess. He's usually hanging out here. But I do kind of wonder, like, how long does it take for special programs maybe to come up with homes? I don't know how it works. I know it's icky and yucky to have to deal with human services, so you always feel like you're being judged or yelled at and until I get it. The fake Franklin Institute, as I call it. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's a neat place for kids to go. That's it. I don't believe it that I was friends with someone whose brother wound up in the finance department, and her brother is someone I consider a gang stalker. Uh, got to go to Vassar College, and that seems prestigious. Then you find out it's just an orchestrated community, and he would, you know, be peddled out and given like a, an illusion of a job. That's what um, happens in orchestrated communities. All right, Monday night. Do you want laughter? 